everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Juliet hi everyone welcome back to my channel and to my kitchen and if you're new here my name is Juliet Kane and I post a new recipe every Wednesday both on my blog and on this channel so please follow so that you don't miss out on any new recipes if you watch my videos for a while i'm usually dressed pretty casually but i literally just came home i was about to change but then i thought why not just come do this video in what i'd usually be in on a day-to-day -day basis i guess just to change things up so all i'm going to do is maybe open a button fold my sleeves a little bit just to get into the, into the cooking mode and then we'll get into this recipe so today i'm sure you read the title we are making something that is pretty common in the kenyan household if you've been to a boarding school i'm pretty sure you've had this meal at least once today we are making githeri i like githeri so much mostly because we have grown up eating it in school at home secondly it's a really easy way to meal prep growing up we always had githeri in our fridge i remember my mom would boil a whole huge so we of it on Saturdays and then stock them up in our fridge. Even now, I always have gidei in my fridge because maybe on a day you don't want to go through the trouble of cooking a lot. You can whip up a nice quick meal. Also, it really tastes amazing. The combination of beans and maize, they come together so well to make a nice curry. And today we are going to be making a curry using gidei. Uh, so that I don't assume. For those who don't know what gidei is, it's a common Kenyan dish that is basically a mixture of maize and beans some people prefer to use minji or peas i like using minji or peas sometimes um, other people prefer using different kind of beans yellow beans, rose cocoa, etc. depends on your preference and yeah let's get into it here i already have my onions going and i'm going to walk you guys through the ingredients and then we are going to come back here and cook an amazing meal here are our ingredients we we're going to start of course with the main star of the dish which is the githeri already pre-boiled already cooked we have the spices from this side curry powder some cumin coriander chili flakes and we're also going to be using some roiko towards the end for the vegetables we're going to be using some potatoes just to thicken the stew carrots to bring in some sweetness large tomatoes an onion some dania to finish off and of course we will never miss our ginger and our garlic I've just let my onions cook until they began to brown and I've added my ginger and garlic and we'll cook this ginger in nice and fragrant just um, so that it can be cooked and bring more flavor to the dish so after the ginger and garlic become fragrant we're going in with our spices and we're going in with some cumin some coriander and our main spice which is curry powder and we are going to add about one heap tablespoon of it and the idea is to just let this spice toast for a minute without adding anything with the liquid like tomatoes so that they can bring out their best flavors and then next we are going to go in with the tomatoes let's go in with our tomatoes we have two large tomatoes here and after mixing them in we'll cover this up let them steam for five minutes they let out their own water they will soften up they will form some kind of a paste and then i will move on to the rest of the ingredients i'm just mixing my potatoes and my carrots in so that they can get the whole mixture of the um, onion garlic ginger spices tomatoes together just to coat them nicely and then we're going with our githeri mix it in a little bit before adding some water depending on the amount of githeri you have you will add different amounts of water I'm adding about two cups of water because I don't have too much but our end goal is to ensure that the potatoes are soft and breakable and that the whole curry comes together as this boils I want to just season it with some salt and black pepper And just allow this to boil for a bit more i can see the potatoes are not yet ready they're still 
a bit hard so we'll give them a few more minutes maybe 10 more minutes yeah it's beginning to thicken up significantly the potatoes are not completely done but they are soft so in about five more minutes we'll have them almost scrambling and mixing into the soup and that's what i like some people prefer farmer potatoes which is fine you can just remove them at this point but i like it when my potatoes are more melt in your mouth they kind you just put in your mouth and they dissolve and you just swallow without needing to chew that's the kind i like in a stew or a curry so at this point i'm going to taste the seasoning of course as usual because you don't want to take food to the table that isn't well seasoned so the salt isn't completely there so i'm just going to add a little bit more a little bit of chili flakes everything is nice thick potatoes crumbly and i want to add some roiko towards the end so this is just some roiko i've mixed in with some water I'm going to serve this just as it is. I've had people saying that Gideri makes a really nice stew, like with rice or chapati. I've had it before. I, I, I'm sure I've tried it before, and I actually have chapatis in the fridge, so I'm going to give it a try and see. But let me know if you've ever tried like Gideri with something else instead of just having it as a meal on its own. I think that's really interesting. <laughs> I wish I could share with all of you guys some of this so that you could taste all the goodness but the best thing about our recipe is you could always try it at home and you will taste the same exact thing I am eating right now. We've come to the end of the video and before I wrap this up we've grown a little bit over the past Two weeks we're almost at a thousand subscribers and i just want to say thank you to all the people who subscribed everyone who keeps watching my videos everyone who keeps giving me feedback either on my social media on the comment section i really appreciate you guys because i love what i do and i love sharing with you guys and i love it when you guys you know enjoy my recipes and all that if you have any questions about the food and um, if you want to talk to me about food and recipes on a more interactive basis than YouTube. I always leave my social media handles down below. It's basically Kaneskin Kitchen Affair, both on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. And I love talking to you guys. Come to my DMs, let's talk about food. I love interacting with you guys. And if you've watched up to this point, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, and to share this video with someone you know likes Lizeri and would like this recipe. Have an amazing, amazing week. Bye. <laughs>